Hi friends, today I'm reading The Monster in the Bubble by Andy Green. Sweet little squeak never tried to step away. From his warm cozy bubble where he always did stay. Safe from the world and all that was new, he, he'd make up grand stories of what he would do. If he got up the courage to go out and see the world all around him, all he could be. He'd tell of the creatures and friends he would meet. And the mountains he'd scale from their to their dusty white peaks. Of soaring through clouds and hot air balloons. Ending up in a rocket that flew to the moon. He imagined he'd be so brave and so bold that stories about him would one day be told. But at the end of each story, Squeak would say with a sigh, someday I'll go, someday I'll try. Cause leaving his bubble just scared him to tears and he'd say to himself, well, it's better in here. The bubble did listen and started to see it needed to help little Squeak become free. So at bedtime one night when Squeak turned out the lights, the bubble floated softly away out of sight. Yet it didn't go far, still staying near Squeak. Through the crack in the window, it quietly peeked. Early next morning, Squeak woke up at dawn. Looked all around, but the, his bubble was gone. Then suddenly he saw it at the foot of the bed, a note from his bubble, and here's what it said. Dear little Squeak, it is time that you grow. In order to do this, you have to let go of what holds you back from starting each day. So think of me fondly as you go on your way. But if you do happen to need me again, I'll always be there, your bubble, your friend. Bubble, my bubble, Squeak start, said with a cry. What will I do with you not by my side? And a voice gently whispered, tickling his ear. Be strong, little one. I'll always be near. Squeak wanted so badly for his life to remain in the world that he knew where things never change. But Bubble was right, Squeak knew in his heart it was time to have fun. It was time that he start. So he took a deep breath and went on his way. And he laughed and he learned. And he worked and he played. Growing happier each day with all he had done. 
thankful for the push from a special someone. For if in his bubble he always had stayed, he would not be the squeak that he is today.